こう、ちょっと、ててみたらね。これさ、研究するのは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、Put the memory card here.、Uh, but this is basically the robot o k e y This is what we get to put or insert into the system. We inject some payload into the system. I've not really tried it, but we're going to look into it together today. So it came with a lot of work through with this. I've looked through this a little bit just for、uh, if you want to learn how to write your own payload. It's a great, it's a great、uh, book to read. Also, this is fully loaded with a lot of information. I read a little bit with about not everything yet.、Uh, one good thing about、uh, this robot I keep by Act 5 is the out、uh, repo GitHub repo where you can download all the s p i n d o script and just use it by your own. If you want to learn how to build your own payload, then that's fine. but Basically, they have a little bit of a copy and paste or modify to your own taste before using it. I also got another one、uh, called Bash Power. I feel like I actually, I feel like I actually use this yet.、Uh, I'll still come back to this one later, but just when I'm getting a feel of a level of the USB robot of first bay before moving to this. So, Enough of talking, let's see how this works out for us. So、uh, I'm dropping it through my six string now, and let's see.、Uh, so we have a GitHub page where you see, or I can see it looking up at s t o r e which has a lot of payloads. Depends on what you're looking for. Aside that, they have a payload studio, which you, you'll be given a kind of a key to activate or to log to this platform. So once you pay for the tool, They、send you an email where it comes with the key that you get to use to log into this、um, payload studio. So, basically, this is where you go to input your payload and you generate and you download to your system. Now, to your to the flight drive, then copy it to the flight drive. Once you copy the flight drive, you can input it to the GSP robot or key, then to use it on any kind of public system, basically, Windows XP. Or, uh, of your target precisely. What we're going to do now is to this. So I see this one, I feel like this is going to be a little bit fun. So this is the payload here.、Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do anything on this one. I worry about the studio's children's a c e and the person. So basically, it's、uh, SMB backdrop payload. What, it, what this will do is it's going to create a user. Go to any kind of system, we you know we check this and it's going to create a bad dog. Add the user as an administrator, yeah. You see, I add this the clue you got to administrator group and basically pass this user account. So that is what this payload will do. So let's see how it's going to work. So I'm going to copy the payload here, and I'm going to go back, go back to the payload studio. Or paste it here. Now, this is the let's let's scroll up a little bit. Let's name the user, let's call it OPAME. Let's call it a s w o r d of a more at 1 to 3. Let's change that. Change the slot to wait. So, it needs to work. Let's. I think that's it. So, we're going to add this user as a local administrator. And it's going to create an account on the system or whatever system we need to check this、um, payload. So let me generate the payload. 
circular TSD called post assessment. Now, from where we can uh, download here, let's see, download to the like guide, download, download to the system. Now, it's downloaded to the system. What we get to do now is to copy this payload into a flight drive. So, I have a flight drive here. Oh, well, yeah. I have it like that. Well, I'm going to use this adapter. So, this adapter, I'm um, putting one of the cuts out of the one with the payload. Yeah, well, I'm going to pull it to the system right now. So, now let's see. Now, let's go to. So we have the world VT S19. Put that down all things together. Let me copy it. It's going to copy. Here. Going to go to the T drive. I just want to be pasted there. When I close it, I'm going to reject it. All I can look up is I travel. The laptops will load just a bit of load the well the memory card. Now I'm gonna put it well this is my short wall. So this is what we do the work. We simply point that the jump walls. Contrary to that do the jump walls. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do now. What I need to do is to just plug the of the alternative system. So we will use all of our system to the meeting. This the one I'm creating with that now. The board reference as an example of for this demo. So I'm gonna plug it now. Or let's see what it's plug it does. It's working. You know, like it's a full kind of a wrong, uh, wrong application. So it's working. Go. Keep watching. That uh, until the local light transfers. See, successfully add this user. See, where yeah, this is crazy. Well, whatever system you plug this robot document, this is what is going to happen. It's going to create a user mode, I mean, new user and a password. And basically, what happens, you can access that system uh, remotely. Basically, it's in the back door for you. Uh, this is very, very crazy. But to confirm this, if it works, let's actually check. Check CMD. And let's check all the users. So, so, you see? Now it's user here. It's user the previous assessment and system. Guys, this is very, very crazy. I'm telling you. Uh, I'm still going to explore more of this and this too, um, to see how I out any capability that what more good stuff I can use this tool for. I'm going to make more videos on this because I'm going to make more videos. I'm telling you guys, this is really fun. After I will test the badge pointer, which is also a very powerful tool, but this is the first time I've tested this. Let's see how uh, more stuff we can do with this. So keep watching out for more videos related to your fears build up at okay. Uh thanks guys for watching. I hope to see you at the next video. Mm -hmm.